What's up, Kings? It's your boy, Chad, from Defund Simping. Today's video is going to actually be a reaction to a girl talking about how American men just don't have the sauce no more. They're not pursuing anymore. But is that the truth? Let's find out. Before we start today's video, make sure to head down to the subscribe button so you don't miss a post. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Let's get into it. So this girl on TikTok, you know, her account, his name is uh, he's fired, I believe. Now, hey, this isn't like a beef video. I'm not trying to beef with them. They make good content. Just this video stood out to me. So I want to do a little reaction, shall we? Difference between American men and European or Latin American Middle Eastern men. The reason why American men are not really pursuing the way that they're supposed to is one, because they've been spoiled already. If you don't know this already, Latin men, European men, and Middle Eastern men all have one thing in common. They're actually men. They pursue women and- they Okay, when you say they're actually men, you know, here's the thing I learned about communication. When you say statements like this, you're automatically putting 100% of men in defense. Oh, you guys aren't men. But men in Europe, Europe and Latin America, they're real men. You're not men. That automatically puts men in a place where they no longer want to listen to you. They're now on defense. But since I'm a critical thinker and I'm a G, I can still listen to her with an open mind. But majority of people, the second you say you're not a real man because you're in America, but people in Latin America, they're the real man. Now people just in America don't want to listen to you. So you're putting yourself at a disadvantage by talking like this. But hey, Talk your ish, girl. Do what you got to do. Let's continue. They are very persistent. They're consistent. And they essentially do all of the work in the pursuit. And they know how to court women. Why is it that they... Here's the issue, lady. Um, something called feminism came through and gave birth to hookup culture. What is hookup culture? Hookup culture is now put the barrier into sex very low. I'm talking like very low. And the barrier to sex used to be much higher, right? Men and women didn't really do the nasty unless she was, you know, marriage was involved. You had to really give a woman a lot before you got into the bed with her. Nowadays, it's reverse. You meet on the first night, you do the nasty, right? You talk, you talk for maybe two, three, four months. Then you hold hands on the fifth month. In the sixth month, you meet mom and dad. It used to be reverse, right? first date you walk up to the doorstep of the chick's house knock on the door say hello mr so and so i'm here to see your daughter like it used to be like that i couldn't imagine doing stuff like that now but that's how it used to be but nowadays the bear to get sex get to get the sex is very low therefore men are like screw it why go through all this pursuing and courtship if i can get that the sex at barely you know very easy now let's go to the other cultures now and in, in, in American culture, I think the women are raised differently. In those Middle Eastern cultures, right? Especially those women are raised to be wives. They're raised to be a wife, right? So they're not posting their body on social media for body positivity. They're not going to nightclubs and shaking their, you know, you know, sh shaking their, you know, what's like they're 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 raised differently. So you can't say, oh, the men in, in, in Europe are so different, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, they are, but the women are different too. And the women here are not raised the same. A lot of women here are raised to be this boss babe that's independent. They don't need no man. These girls are raised to be city girls and have hot girl summers. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it, it's 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 different, right? So that's why I got to say to that. Let's continue. Let's continue. They do this right from the jump. Because in their European, Middle Eastern, and Latin society, women have not spoiled them the way that women here have spoiled men. Women make them work hard for their time, their availability. They require... You see, guys, two things. Number one, when she says men aren't working hard to pursue me, what she's really, what she's really saying is, listen, the men that I want, the chiseled Chad, the tall and dark and handsome Tyrone, I want those men to do the, all the work for me. But those men aren't. Why? Because those men have options. When I think of Chad and Tyrone, I think of my homeboy, Austin Dunn. Here's a photo of this guy. This guy's put in the freaking work. Okay. 25 years old, makes over six figures. Like the dude has put in the work 
you know, with his body, with his mindset, with his finances, like the dude's putting the work from top to bottom. So she wants Austin Dunham to chase her. But guess what? Austin Dunham has all the options. I know I've, I've hung out with him. I, I know he has the options. So she wants the top tier man. Cause see, I guarantee you boys, her DMs are full of dudes asking her out, full of men pursuing her, full of men trying to get to know her and ask her out, but she doesn't want those men. She doesn't want the barista at Whole Foods. She doesn't want the freaking guy who works at Ralph's or Stater Brothers stocking shelves. She wants the top tier guy in her DMs trying to court her, trying to take her out to a steak dinner. But the guy who's at the top, who has the Lambo, who has a nice car, the nice house, he's like, his mindset switched. I'm the prize. And as he should, right? So you can't have it all, baby girl. You can't have it all. And the second thing I wanted to say is she was talking about women make it hard. Why do you make it hard? For what? Like, what's the point? Like, if I text you and ask you out on a date and you're like, hmm, I got to make you work harder, harder for that. I'm going to say, have a good night. It was nice knowing. You. Why do I have to work hard to go on a date with you? Why do I have to work hard to get your time? I should be able to send you a text. Are you interested? No. Have a good day. Yes. Cool. I'll make the reservation. I shouldn't have to work hard. If you see my value as a man, you like me, find me you find me physically attractive. You like my ambition. You like what I do for a living. Cool. Let's do it. But work hard. I don't like that. Work hard. Shit, dude. I don't, I don't know, man. That makes sense to me. Availability. They require more of men. And that's why these men know that if they don't know how to pursue and court a woman accordingly, they're not getting any. So in conclusion, the reason why American men are weenies and they don't know how to pursue women is because women here have let them get away with doing the bare minimum. And That's right, they have. So I think we should switch this video around and not aim it at the men and say, ladies, with this new hookup culture that we've allowed, because women get to decide who has sex in, in this world, not men, not men, women decide. So since women decided, especially in the Western cultures, yo, we're sexually liberated, we're free. Well, guess what? You created this dating pool of men who don't wanna try to get to know you or try to put an effort. Why? If they're just looking for a good time, you know what that means, right? Just looking for a good time and they can get it relatively easily now, What's the point? So when you create a hookup culture and you create sexual liberation, hot girl summer, city girls, right? What's the point of a guy per courting you if he can just get sex on the first date? What's the point of a guy courting you if he can text you at one in the morning and you'll come through and you'll do the nasty? What's the point? You know what I mean? So she's right. Women have created these F boys due to the hookup culture and the sexual liberation. And that's not okay. And that's just a record scratch. By not requiring more of men and not expecting more of them and making them work for it, you're essentially making them lazy. You're creating more boys and you're putting yourself in situations where you end up being the one pursuing him and worried about whether he likes you enough. Because you're probably, listen, not, and that's, that's a great point. A lot of the times, Women have two men in their life. The men that are chasing them and the men that they want. The men that they want that are, you know, handsome, successful, driven, right? They already have, they already have it all together, right? They want those men to pursue them. But guess what? Those men have all the options now. Those men have all the options now. So they're in their head, I'm the prize. If you want me, you gotta come chase me. That's the mentality that these men have. And guess what, ladies? Beauty is everywhere. There's a lot of beautiful women, very little high value men. So what happens is these high value men get to a place where like, wait a minute, there's only a hundred of us up here, but a hundred thousand of them down there. Therefore, we are the prize now. So these men who you want, 
aren't going to do all this crazy pursuing. And it's just how the world works. It's just how the world works. If you want, ladies, if you if any girls are actually watching this, if you want a top tier guy, find a way to bring value to his life. Is that a 100% guarantee? No. Are you raising your chances of having him? Yes. On the first date, if you guys hit it off and you see him a second time, ask him, hey, um, in your business, what are some things that, you know, you need done like emails, paperwork and help him. I guarantee by you offering to help him with his business, he's going to go, wow, out of all the girls I've met, out of all the girls I've smashed, I've never had a woman ask me, how can she help my business and watch how you're going to be stuck. He's going to keep you around. I guarantee it. I guarantee he's going to keep you around. So ladies, if you want a high value man, a man with substance, who's doing something, who's putting a dent in the universe, help him with his business, help bring value. That's how you keep these men. That's how you keep those men pursuing you. By you showing up in, in for a steak dinner and having a mediocre conversation, it's not going to help you at all. Women in these other cultures, they're not ever doing that. They let men come to them. And if they come correct, then maybe you get a date. And that's a maybe you're up for. Listen, it's only a maybe if she doesn't like you guys. I guarantee you, if I DM this chick just off the looks and the swag, she's going to let me take her out easily. I'm going to say, hey, you. She's going to respond, hey, what's up? I'm going to chat her up four or five more messages and ask her out. If she's into you guys, it's easy. If she's not into you, it's hard. There is no maybe. Maybe she'll give you a date. No, she will. She likes you. She won't like, she won't give you a date if she's not into you. Here's the thing, guys. Women will make rules for guys they don't like and break them for guys that they do. Say one more time. Women will break rules for guys that they like and make the rules for men that they don't. So what she's saying, if you're a guy she likes, she'll break all these rules. I guarantee you this girl has been a booty call for somebody. I guarantee you this girl has given up sex on her first date for somebody. Why? Because he was just that dude in the moment. Let's continue. Consideration. Here, it seems like women will accept the bare minimum. They accept non-dates that are coffee, walking, bullshit dates that aren't even requiring much effort. Fellas, listen. Do what makes you comfortable. If you're a coffee type of guy, take the chick to get a freaking coffee. If you're a walk in the park guy, take her for a walk in the park. Don't think you have to go crazy for a chick. Don't, because now you're simping. You're putting her on a pedestal. If you say, hey, I love to grab a coffee with you while I'm in town. <laughs> Sorry. And she goes, no, nope, I don't do coffee. Go, okay, well, coffee is what I do. If you'd like to meet me at this coffee shop at this time, at this place, we can do it. If not, no hard feelings. Stand your ground. She'll respect you way more for standing your ground than you going, okay, I guess we can do a dinner somewhere. Stand in your truth, fellas. If you're a coffee guy, stay a coffee guy. If, if that's what you like to do, do it. But don't, like, this is a chick who kind of feels someone entitled. What she's saying, your time isn't enough. I need more than just time. I need like a dinner. I need a nice place. You need to invest. Even though you don't know me, I don't know you, you need to invest in me. Girl, bye. No. No, 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 no. And they accept very subpar behavior. And they're okay if these guys don't talk to them for days on end, suck at communication. They're totally fine with that. And that's how we've given birth to the fuckboy and weenies. You should start requiring more of men. Notice how the guys that'll come correct will stick around. And the guys that aren't doing much will just drop like flies when you've given them a challenge. This is the only way to weed out the guys who are- I'ma say this, y'all. And, oh shit. <laughs> I'ma say this, y'all. She is right in the sense of women do create these F-boys. They do. And I'll tell you why, because a woman created me to be more aware. You see, this is what happens. This is what I see happens. Guys will do everything right by the book. I was texting her, giving her reassurance, asking her out. I was doing all these things that girls told me to do, what society told me to do. I did them all, but she still went back to her ex who is just not doing any of the things, any of those things. So it's like, 
women will say they want to be treated this way men treat them that way then they go back to a guy that did the opposite so guys are like wait a minute if i'm doing all the things you told me to do but you're not rewarding that behavior you're rewarding it over here with a guy that's not doing any of it okay i'm gonna become that guy now listen guys i'll say this i don't want you to become f boys i want you guys to become bad men what what in reality what that means is these bad boys have a confidence about them they have a take it or leave it mindset about them right if i text a girl hey let's grab a coffee and she goes i don't do coffee i don't, I don't do dinner and i respond okay well i'm a coffee guy if you want to meet me at this place at this time we can do it if not no worries she'll go wow this guy is no nice guy this guy is no scrub even though he's not doing what I want. I'm almost more inclined to see this guy because he's willing to tell me no. Attractive girls rarely hear the word no, ever. So was I being a bad guy in that moment? No, I was exerting a boundary. And that's what bad boys, right? Bad boys are better at doing. Here's what it is. Take it or leave it. I don't care how attractive you are. I don't care how good looking you are. I don't care because this is how I live my life. And if you don't want to be a part of it, exit stays left, right? So that's what makes a guy a bad boy. He's willing to not bend or break. The nice guy would have said, oh, if you want to do steak, I, I guess I guess we can do that. That's what he would have said. And that girl would know mentally, I got this guy. He can't, he was, he broke his morals and his code just to do what I wanted. Even though you, you may get that date with her, bro, you may get that date. But she knows up here, this guy bended and folded for me. And she, not all girls, but she may not respect you for that. Because she knew you were a coffee guy and you bended and folded to give her what she wanted on the first date. Tell, that, that tells you, that is telling her a lot about you already. All right, boys, I know that was a long video. I do appreciate you guys sticking through to the end. I appreciate it. You guys have a good rest of your day, good rest of your week. And kill it out there, boys. Peace.